So I'm uh, Paul McClure. I'm the program coordinator and professor in jewelry studies at George Brown College in Toronto. We recently um, partnered up with Trotech to have a laser cutter on campus, um, allowing the students to experiment um, towards a competition of laser cut and laser engraved jewelry designs. It was really, really successful um, for us. Our program is uh, predominantly a precious metals, fine goldsmithing program, and the laser cutter uh, allowed the students to really explore other materials. Um, so, in particular, acrylic, leather, wood, um, various plastics and papers, and um, and we got some really, really innovative and successful products that can be. Um, produced or manufactured in multiple copies because of this technology. It's um, once the, the designs are done, repeating them is a really, really simple step. And so the students were excited. Um, my perspective and the other faculty members' perspective is that it was a really advantageous sort of uh, project that brought new creativity to the program. And we're really uh, looking forward to having a Trotech laser cutter on campus permanently. Hi, I'm Yunin, a um, jewelry student at the George Brown. Today I will show you my, my piece of jewelry. This is what I make with the Trotech laser machine. My inspiration was Korean windows and progressious plants. So progressious plants is bamboo, chrysanthemum, and plum blossom, and uh, orchid. And also, why I choose the wood as a material? Because all of the Korean window, traditional Korean window frame is made by wood, so that's why I choose them. So I, I also cut the, cut the packaging myself. So this packaging is made by acrylic, and this one is paper. So, hi, my name is Lina Maria Vendano. Um, I study, I am in the department of jewelry arts at George Brown College. These designs that is, um, is based on the climbing plants, or they call it like a creeper plant, that is, uh, is based on the, the form that it, they link together, like a, a real change or like a kind of uh, connections. The, they have to be in a, in a flexible material and uh, you can depend on the size or your, or your arm or your necklace. You can make a different kind of fine or different kind of quantity of links. You can take it off and you can make a necklace. So something that I really like for the laser machine is they make it more possibilities to do so many so many creations and uh, at the same time you can make everything that you want in different kind of materials so that I, li I really like so much the laser cut. So we came out to, uh, to Trotex TroSpace, their maker space here, um, to do some laser cutting on this very cool um, neon acrylic. Um, particularly we're doing a, a short run of about uh, 150 of these what will become pendants um, for the Society of North American Goldsmiths Conference, SNAG, which uh, this year is being held in North Carolina. And um, the pieces are a, it's kind of like a swap jewelry activist statement for the LGBTQ community because of the, the new uh, bathroom law in North Carolina. So we're using jewelry in a kind of an activist way and being able to manufacture these pieces um, really inexpensively and really, really quickly with the technology that's here at TroSpace. 